These young people have a journey of 600 kilometers ahead of them. They've come together from all over Europe, and they're starting out from Krakow. I'm taking the Solidarnosc Express. Lea is 19 and comes from Berlin. She's here to find out more about Poland. We'll be discussing history and events that we've only ever talked about with people of our own nationality. It's a way of getting a different angle on history, which isn't something that happens every day. The journey across Poland will also shed light on German history. Will the past overshadow the trip? Inevitably, the group will be confronted with evidence of German atrocities committed during the Second World War. Well over a million people died in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Today, a museum honors these victims of the Nazis. Leia has never been here before. I can imagine that for many people, this place would take them back to the past. And they might think, and now those Germans are taking part in a war again. Even though I think the people in Afghanistan think that the German troops are helping them. The next day, Leah does some sightseeing in Krakow. Leah has plenty of time on the journey across Poland to get to know her fellow passengers. Among the other participants are Lukasz from Poland and Camille from France. The new friends chat about their lives and their feelings about Europe and Germany. Very um, nationalistic point of view. If we want Germany to be more pro-Polish, why? Well, we are all in uh, Europe, and Germany as well as Poland should be pro-European and. That's enough. I thought that in Polish newspapers, it's, this topic is discussed more, I thought, about uh, Germany, because that was my experience when I was in Poland, uh, when I read some newspapers, that it was very often connected with, with Germany. In Warsaw, the legacy of the Second World War is impossible to overlook. Most of the city was destroyed, but since then it's been largely rebuilt. The train is now heading north to Gdansk on the Baltic coast. Leia has made friends with Dmitry from Russia. He says he wishes that Germany was a little more broad-minded about his country. It's important to see Russia as a partner. Russians often have the feeling that Europeans have a lot of prejudices in their approach to Russia. On the ship, Leah is being interviewed by an Israeli journalist interested in German politics. So, like now, Germany is taking a really important role between the talks in Israel and Hamas. And I think that's great. Like, really, I, we, we, we have a lot of hopes. I feel like I want, I want Germany to be like the country that is the most aware of every other totalitarian uh, uh, political way. The Second World War began 70 years ago here, near Gdansk. These days, Polish-German relations are amicable and will remain so whichever party wins the German parliamentary elections. Leia will be voting for the first time. I can't decide between the Greens and the Social Democrats, although it's a pity the SPD is in crisis right now. This is where their journey ends. We have to look to the future together. 70 years after the war began, it's great that Russians, French, Germans and Poles can all hang out together on a beach in Poland.